It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I've always wanted a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to have a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. We might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you please be my neighbor? Won't you please, won't you please, please won't you be my neighbor? Welcome today. It's going to be a very exciting day, y'all. I'm going to show you my neighborhood and all the beautiful neighbors that I have. I love to always change my shoes, go in my Nikes, got to be ready, and then always have to prepare with my food. So I always come prepared. Got a little Taco Bell in there as well. So let's go. This, this door. Ah, one of the reasons why I love the park is because of trees. Ah, they're so beautiful. And one of my favorite people actually paints trees. Bobby Ross, the boss, paints trees like a boss, y'all. And speaking of which, Bob Ross now. Bob, it's always good seeing you. How you doing? It's good to see you too today, Mr. Hanahan. I'm afraid I cannot talk very much. Okay. I must focus on my art. Oh, okay. No worries, Bob. I'm not going to lie. I love Bob Ross paintings, but this one's not that impressive. Not going to lie. What do you mean by that, Mr. Hanahan? It's not good. Well, you got to paint more trees, Bob. It's what you're good at. I see. Well, as you non artist types know, art is not just about happy little trees. Sometimes we must paint outside the box. Paint outside the box, this guy, Bob. He's a funny guy. Uh, don't really know exactly what that means. But, Bob, I did win an art competition in the eighth grade, so I think that kind of shows that I have some good painting, painting ability. Well, Mr. Hanahan, I'm afraid I must disagree with you. Okay, you see, fair. I have my very own Netflix series. Okay. I have various amounts of art w w awards That's from true. various different art competitions around the world. It's true. So I'm afraid that your eighth grade art competition does not even compare to what I have accomplished. Well, that might be so back in the day, Bob, but right now, paintings aren't that good anymore. Is that so? Yes. Well, Mr. Hanahan. Oh, we're moving. If my art isn't any good, then why don't you become the painter? Okay, Bob, that a guy. What a, what a jokester. Anyway, y'all, let me kind of show you what I was talking about. Boop. What I love to do is paint trees. I love to watch Bob Ross do it, but he likes to do outside the box. So we're going to paint trees because that's what's cool. What you do, you just want to start with a good base. Get a little green action in there. Oh, look at that. Look at the trees crying. It's beautiful. That's artistic. Now, I showed you Bob Ross. Let me show you all some other neighbors. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait. You smell that? It, oh my gosh, it's Gordon Ramsay. In the flesh, y'all, I kid you not, this Guy is amazing. Gordon, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm yeah. just cooking in my uh, my wok with some beef stir fried. Okay. Oh, and your well, Gordon, please please tell us what is a wok. A wok is a large, deep, round uh, a pan, really. Okay. That you just you cook noodles and Interesting. other. Interesting. Well, hey, things. Gordon, let me kind of show you. Have you ever thought about making? Okay. No. Huh. Do not touch my utensils. All right. All right. Not even like the fruit or anything like that. Like it's. No. All right. Well, Do not touch anything. Have you ever thought about making wacos? Wacos. Wacos, yes. You mean that disgusting excuse for food they serve at Taco Bell? Yes, at Taco Bell. Let me show you what I'm talking about, man. It'll help you improve your dish. I highly doubt that. I mean, Gordon, you know Taco Bell's kind of run you out of business. You're cooking at a vertical brook, brook like brick place park. What is this? How could you say that? I, I was in kitchen nightmares. And he's eating the, the fucking walk up. 
Let me show you, buddy. You're never yourself when you're hungry. Thank you, Mr. Henry. Anytime, you buddy. Stickers, bro. You know I'm always here for you, dog. You made my day. And the beef stuff right. <laughs> well, you're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. No, get out of my kitchen! All right, all right. Are you, okay, wow, okay, well, that's Gordon for you. Okay, grapes, really, man? Okay. Anyway, let's, let's like move over this way, away from, away from Ramsey. He's a little crazy. Sorry about that, y'all. Anyway, let's, oh, oh my gosh, it's, it's freaking Dobby, y'all. Dobby, hey. how you doing? Hello, Mr. Hanahan. How you been, man? Dobby has been well. Okay, what have you been up to? Dobby has found a sock, and now Dobby can finally have a do-rag for when he grows hair. Dobby can have a do uh, I won't even ask. Well, Dobby, why are you here? Wouldn't you be with Harry right now, you know? Well, Harry Potter told Dobby that there were no house elves allowed in Hogwarts anymore, so Dobby is here now. Dobby, is there anything I can do for you? Well, Dobby is a little hungry. Oh, Dobby. Well, luckily I have a good food. Not like those whatever's in the wok. Okay, that's ridiculous. Anyway, enjoy this taco from Taco Bell, Dobbs. Well, Dobby is ever so grateful. Should but be. what is Taco Bell? Taco Bell is one of the best restaurants you can ever go to, Dobbs. It's amazing. Okay. Enjoy it. I will, Mr. Hanahan. Let's go home, y'all. See you, Dobby. Bye, Mr. Hanahan. Well, that was a fun day. I hope you all enjoyed everything. And I also hope we learned something today. First lesson is, well, Bob Ross, if you kind of look at him, even though he's not the best painter, you still gotta do what you love. And that's what Bob does. Second lesson is from Gordon Ramsay. The guy makes anything walkable by cooking in a walk. It's amazing. And lastly, guys, I love Dobby. He's a great guy. But never take your friends for granted because one day you might be ending up in a trash can. Well, at least buy one. Don't take for granted your friends. So, sorry about that, guys. Just don't forget your friends. <sighs> do love my apartment. It's so amazing. One thing I do love is the Cardinals, St. Louis Cardinals. It's one of my favorite things to do. I got this old phone, it's an antique. Beautiful. I love it. And then the lights, it doesn't really work. So, but this is my place. I got a great chair. I love these flowers and I just try to do the best that I can do with the stuff that I have. So, it's great. Sit down, maybe call my mom. <laughs> See how she's doing. I just we haven't talked much lately. Too busy hanging with Bob Ross over here, you know? He's just kind of a weird dude. Just wait one second, guys. Hey, Ma, I just, just got back from talking to Gordon and, uh, oh, sorry, well, that was a quick conversation. I totally forgot that. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive, it's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say, I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling. The feeling you know that I'll be back when the day is new and I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things you want to talk about I will too. You always make each day such a special day. You know how? By just being you. There's only one person in the world like you, and that is yourself. Bob, Gordon, and myself, we're all ourselves. We are ourselves. And it all starts with this guy right here. Love you, Uncle Fred.